It's, it was an accident. <laughs> I saved the class project on YouTube. Nah, you one of the biggest trolls I know. You close <laughs> to the arena. I grew up in the and one phase, so like I thought training was dumb. People are like, man, you, you like a young Morgan Freeman. I'm like, what? I'm not gonna stop this monster on social media. Like <laughs> You're the pioneer of the 1v1 movement. Nobody gives me credit for it. I don't need it. What's your take on the YouTube basketball scene? Uh, no, 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 we're off camera. Uh. <laughs> in the lab versus West Coast game, what the hell happened? What's good, y'all? This is episode one of Sessions with Frank Nitty, and I have the man, the myth, the legend here, Dev, man. I'm talking about himself. I'm talking about himself. <laughs> but yeah, man, what's good? How you doing? What up, man? It's I, funny because, like, we never really hung out. <laughs> ever, ever. So I think this is a dope way to do it. Yeah, why not? Um, I feel like a lot of us have talked and been in the same gyms, and we all got the same views and goals. So um, I had to get you in here, uh, mm -hmm. have a conversation. And um, finally get to get to know you a little bit more, man. Both ways. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I got to know who you are, too. My guy. Um, all right, so I'm just going to start it right off. Um, you being in this space, man, how would you define your role? How would you define the role of content oh, that's creator, a great question. hooper, um, just so, okay. every, everything? That's man. a great question. So, like, I don't consider myself... All right, I'll, I'll start over. We... I was in the forefront of this basketball trainer type thing, right? And I wasn't even trying to be a trainer. I didn't know nothing about training. I grew up in the and one phase, so like I thought training was dumb. So I thought you just got to go hoop just to get it, you know? So all this like extra stuff that I do now is kind of funny because I was never about that. Um, then it turned into what it is today, and I kind of consider myself as like a basketball promoter. Right. So I do all the things that I can do in a basketball space to get other people to love the sport that I love, because I do love basketball. Um, I don't love the injuries and things that come with it because my, my whole life was filled with that. Um, but I love getting people to understand what this sport can bring. Like it, it's taking me everywhere around the world, which is dope. It's got me to meet some really cool people. Um, be in some rooms that I never thought I'd be in with, you know, and, and just like from music to, to food to all this different type of stuff, basketball took me there. So, you know, I want other people to see it. So I'm a promoter of basketball. Man, you sound just like me, man. Um, a lot of people talk about the way I dribble and stuff like that. All that was learned from Ann Juan. Seriously, um, though, all of it. I used to try to roll it on the ground, throwing a ball over my head. All of it. Um, you, you never saw me in the gym working on my game. Like I was doing Ann Juan moves and just playing with the homies. So if anybody understands that uh, upbringing is me, man. So that's dope. It's the culture, right? Yeah. See, basketball, like, and one was the culture. A lot of people don't know this stuff, but yes. it was, you know, the people on top of the fences, you know, trying to look down on the court, all that type of stuff. A lot of that was with the and one culture, the putting a ball in your shirt, wrapping them around your body, <laughs> and all the little freestyles that you see. <laughs> Um, you know, they were bring you, you remember how they had you sat a mixtapes with like corrupt and all these other dudes? Yeah. Like, this was in one, it was a culture that, and it's funny because nowadays everybody's like, What happened to basketball? Like, you know, people are carrying this stuff. I'm like, Oh, y'all didn't, <laughs> y'all must be new to this because, because yeah. in one, that's what that all way. people used to complain yeah. about, but, but it was such a movement. And it's cool to see like what you guys done with uh, Ballers Life and doing the takeovers and everything because. That's what we grew up on. What yeah. were they called? Uh, were they called takeovers? Nah. No, they, they weren't called takeovers. They were called. Uh, I feel like they just called them. Crash the court. Oh, that, okay. that was a that, that was a techno. Well, I only know because I went to one when oh, I was younger, okay. yeah. like nine years old, ten year old, back on the court trying to shoot half court shots at halftime <laughs> and stuff. So when I went out to business, I'm like, oh, this was like the same thing, but they had hot sauce. They had all those do AO skip to Marlou. And it was just cool, um, you know, it was a cool time in basketball. So yeah. anybody who grew up in that era, like, you know, like, yeah. it was fire. Like, to be out there looking for, uh, to have to buy the shoes to get the mixtapes, and all oh, you finally got the mixtape, you just sit and watch it with your friends, and you actually have to press rewind and flash forward and go back and look at the movie. Yeah, BCR vibe. Come on, man. I remember double taping. All that stuff, <laughs> all, bro. It's crazy. Uh, I felt old talking. I was about to say we aging ourselves, but I don't mind because I I'm happy that I was there for that. I was able to see all that type of stuff, and I I can understand the culture of basketball. No, definitely, man. Um, it was a movement. Um, I I can't say you know, and one without saying me. Mm -hmm. That's what made me who Jesus. I am. 
Uh, my sham is different because of and one. It's literally because of that, and everybody loves that move. But um, yeah, it paved the way. And um, it's dope. Hold on, but even before we move on, it's dope because I know you have too. Now I'm running a, like into a lot of those dudes. Like yeah. I see the professor. I yeah. see. Uh, I met Ao. We talked back and yeah. forth. Uh, skipped to my little auto. And now they be watching us, which exactly, is which is man. weird. It's just a circle. It's like fashion. It's yeah. like how it all just come back around, back around. Man, it's crazy and it's dope to even experience. Um, so let's let's move forward to my next question then. Um, what pushed you after all that to being a content creator? Um, I feel like that's a. It's, it was an accident. <laughs> it was, I, I wasn't trying to do none of this stuff. Like, it's I, an I, accident I, is crazy. I can tell you, no, I'm serious. Like, <laughs> basically, how I started the whole ten thousand. That was my first documentary. I had a school project. I was going. Mm -hmm. I, I figured. Well, I went to Fresno State. Got hurt. So I was like, man, I bounced back. Went JC. Um, then I ended up like, all right. I'm at a JC right now. I'm probably not going to make the league. Like, the chances are very slim. Wait, let me hold you to that. So, you wanted to go, like, that was a thought in your mind as a hooper? I mean, when you start, a lot of people, when they start playing basketball and they start figuring out, oh, I can hang with some of these dudes, it's like, oh, okay, ah, it's not too far. Okay. I don't know if you know about, like, late night. Um, yeah, I used to be up there. Okay, so, you know, Aaron of Follies, Gabe yeah. Pruitt, all those dudes. I was playing with them. Like, and ah, some of those dudes okay. are my big bros. So, Long story short, um, I started figuring, okay, this ain't going to work. You know, I'm always hurt. No matter how good or how bouncy or whatever, I can dribble, I'm always hurt. So like, let's be real with myself. Mm -hmm. So I went to an art school. Long story short, at the art school, there was the reason why I went there because they was giving away scholarships. It was a D2. Yeah, at that point, you take one. Yeah, I had to take it because yeah. it was what I kind of wanted to do and, you know, basketball, what I knew how to do. So I saved the class project on, on YouTube and then went, like, somebody called me up. I've told the story many times. Somebody called me up, like, hey, Div, your, your video is on Reddit. I'm like, what's Reddit? Yeah. He's like, oh, bro, just click on this link. Took me to the front <laughs> page of YouTube and I had like 100,000 views in like a day. I'm like, Jeez. I'm like, what is that? Like, oh, I, I didn't even, I, I didn't have no hard drive. It was because I had no money. So if I'd have had some money, <laughs> I would have saved it on a hard drive. So, then that, I'm like, okay, it's growing, it's growing. I got to make another one. I got to make a whole nother video. And yeah. it was because I was training these Chinese kids that the whole thing took me to China. Whole thing got introduced me to Adidas. And I just kept making the videos, but I didn't know nothing about training. <laughs> so I was studying other people. I would be emailing all these dudes, like, hey, like Phil Handy, all these guys, like, how can I learn how to train and this and that? Because there's no school you did, for you it. You did your work, though. Yeah, I was, I was trying to learn. And, so, I, and I feel yeah. like a lot of people miss that. I feel like a lot of people think, like, most things we do as people is right. overnight success. Oh, it's, um, it's so much that I do right now from editing. I like I learned. I taught myself to edit mm -hmm. just to get clips out, mm -hmm. just to get content out, um, and that brought brands in. But I had to teach myself how to do those things just so um, other opportunities could stem from that. So um, now that's dope as hell, man. Just to hear that mm -hmm. uh, one little thing took you and just propelled you. It kept propelling you. It made me. Uh, I had so much fun just learning how to edit like how you're talking yep. about and learn like yep. seeing those videos go out there and finding my voice like it's funny you you might find it funny but i didn't know what my voice sounded like so i would hear <laughs> well i did when i was a kid so i would always yeah. you know leave voicemails and i get home before my parents and i hear myself in the voicemail when they got home and played it yeah i'm like that's what i saw i hated it yeah and so when i got older people are like man you you like a young Morgan Freeman. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, you know, because my boy. Yeah, it's I, different. It's I came into different. my own and I was just like, you know what? I do sound like a young Morgan Freeman. <laughs> so, you know, then I turned into me narrating. I got an NBA job and all kind of other stuff. Like, narr I was James Harden commercial narrating. That's so you just never job. know. You just what never know where. You? But basketball took me there, though. Yeah. You know, that's, I never had it. Where that's I actually one of my, I think my most interactive thing was you. Um, there's a little snitch segment you got, man. Mm -hmm. I think that was phenomenal. I think that was one of the dopest things from somebody to just create off the rip. Because everybody talk about it, but nobody right. really talked about it. And you talked about it and made it funny at the same time. Right. It was entertaining. So I, I just want to big up to you on that because, <laughs> man, it was a couple times I was just laughing because the stuff that you were, it was like Shaq and a fool, but with like somebody funny behind it. Let's go to the biggest mystery of them all. 
the big Aristotle, Shaquille. As he's almost Shaquille, every defender that he's matched up against, using everything funny in the behind book. it. Which is funny because Shaq hit me up about it. For and real? it ended up on TNT and all this other stuff. But I did see that, yeah. Yeah, but, but that. how it originated was how everybody always is a comment coach. And yeah. just they think that they know everything. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to stop this monster on social media. <laughs> like everybody just stays annoyed. So I'm going to just be them. You can't yeah. beat them, join them, right? So I would just take what I saw people say yeah. and just say it in the little voiceovers. And I I connected it to, you know, just the FBI yeah. and all this stuff. And it actually ended up like catching on. And people still to this day don't know that I'm actually trolling the trolls, man, but I tell people all the time, you're one of the biggest trolls I know. You're close <laughs> to Gil Marino. You and Gil he's, are he's the down to the motivation. <laughs> See, you and Gil are the biggest trolls I know, but y'all fun to watch, man. It's exciting. Um, I appreciate it. And like, that. you would have like the baby with you. Just, right. <laughs> bro, it was Everybody's so classic because it. it was so genuine. So, everybody's a part um, of it. Nah, big shout out to that. Nah, I uh, appreciate that. <laughs> let, me, let me fast forward a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, you had Kyrie Irving in your gym, man. Mm -hmm. Um, I've had a few battles with him in, in closed gyms, mm -hmm. so I know what it's like. What was it like for you? It's a physical encounter because you don't you see all the shifting and all the stuff that he does, but he like wants contact. He used a lot of shoulders. Yeah, I know he's just going right into you. My he's, chest hurt for two yeah, days bro. straight after I played him for the first time. He 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 looks for it, and so that was one of the things. The first thing that I noticed, we played once, oh. and we weren't even supposed to play. I was fat and out of shape, and yeah. so like he hit me up one day. It was like, hey, uh. Hey, let's get in the gym. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, all right. Because we had had a bunch of run-ins, uh, being that I was on social media, we had this thing called Shift Team. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, Kyrie one day tw uh, hit us up on Twitter, like, can I be a part of Shift Team? I'm like, uh, yeah, sure, if you want, like, right, whatever. Right. So, <laughs> years passed by, we ran across each other at the Boston versus Golden State game in Boston. And he came up to me, he was like, ain't you that YouTube uh, dude? Yeah. I be watching your videos, bro, and it was just like, wow, like, that's really cool, because he's younger than me, but the fact that he got so much other stuff going on, so it, it, it comes to, I got connected with Katie, all these guys, right, and they're like, bro, we watch all y'all stuff, bro, like, all the ballers, it's like, it's crazy all, how yeah. much they really watch, me and Katie, uh, he was breaking down the Midwest game when mm -hmm. he played them with me. Yeah. And I'm just like, man, he's sitting down here dissecting the ballers like that. He be game. watching. They really love hoop, bro. They love at it. At the end of the day, and I don't think people know that, like, they love basketball just as much as we love it. So yeah. if you can find that little itch or something that's exciting to you, bro, they can go watch it just like we watch it. So Seriously, bro, I can attest to that for sure. But to, to continue what you were talking about, like, just being in the gym, where it was cool because... He was like really trying to learn from me and pick my brain as much as I was trying to do that same thing with him. And, you know, it turned into like a friendship that we have now. Uh, but, but you know, in terms of playing, yeah, he's, he's Kyrie. You know, like he's human just like everybody else. Nice. Uh, I, I think that that's what makes him cool because he's vulnerable. Like he, 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 he doesn't hide from that. He knows, oh, if I play hard, I might get crossed every now and then, but I'm, I'm going to sure come back at you, you know? So a thousand percent. I thought that was cool. Yeah, I, and I feel like when we were playing, um, and I hope we can get him to talk about it one day so I can hear his side of it. If I got a bucket on him, he was coming right back at me yeah. the next play. And I feel like that's what makes us the best competitors. I feel like when you're scared to get crossed, nah, dropped, you know, dumped on, you always you ain't gonna be the best version of you, mm. um, and I think that's what kind of make me me. Like I'm not scared to get embarrassed at any point. Um, it's a part of the game. I'm at a level now where I'm going to get the best out of anybody, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna get the best from the best, mm -hmm. um, depending on who I'm playing. So I feel like uh, there's no ducking that, bro. No, so it's not. gonna it's gonna happen to all of us at some point. Um, even if, if you ain't been crossed or you ain't been dunked on, you ain't played against nobody. Exactly. That's just what it is. You just exactly. ain't played against nobody. I try to tell um, a lot of young dudes that uh, I play with now. Um, it's not really you can't you can't stop nobody. Once you get to a level of how good somebody mm -hmm. is, and once you get to a level where they make good money, you just ain't gonna stop nobody. But mm -hmm. you can make it tough. But <laughs> it's good. Anyway, Somebody's no, doing good, bro. When I'm I tell you. you when I'm playing against Kyrie, and I'm I'm a pretty good defender. Mm -hmm. I'm contesting things at the top like this. Didn't matter. Number net. Didn't even hit the rim. That's what was making me mad. <laughs> so so. I'm, I play defense too, especially yeah. ones I'm you're playing three dribble. You got three, yeah, so like, I know what IQ. Yeah, I know where you gonna shoot. But he was doing this like fadeaway. Uh -huh. um, I'm really good. All right, when you bring the ball up, I swipe down. I'm not a shot blocker, so I'm, I'm gonna try to get you down because I can't get you up here, right? 100%. He kept the ball over, so he do a turnaround, 
and bring it up from right here. Normally people bring it from here. Yep. I couldn't get it. It was frustrating. <laughs> then another thing he would do, he would fade, but he would lift his knee up. So yep. I couldn't get through that leg to block the shot. So I'm like, all right, yeah. So he's just gonna hit some shots on me. What it is, what it is, you know. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was that was a great. All those experiences are great, bro. Man, phenomenal. I tell people about them to this day. Like you just talked about the one uh, ones with Kyrie and all that. Mm -hmm. um, you were the pioneer of the one v one movement. Um, it's funny. I, nobody gives me credit for it anymore. Really? It's just like yeah, cause you, cause we did. We've been doing this for a minute, bro. And the uh, the one on ones and the twos. But the thing is, I I thought about this a long time ago, right? I was walking so other people could fly, and I'm completely okay with. It. I'm looking with guys like Friggin and just all these other guys. I'm looking what they're doing. I'm like, that's really dope. Cause yeah. I make I make my money in other ways, so I ain't gotta go I hate on this dude. And my for what? Man. Like, I, it's so many things that I learned how to do, and I'm skilled in a lot. And it's not in the category. I'm skilled in a lot of different categories. But I need to go hate on this person doing something good. So like, we did the two on twos, and everybody thought like saw that it was gonna be like, oh. Like the this two on twos is fun. Yeah. We did it with a we had a, what's called a creator class. We did a Marcellus, White Iverson, the dude's name was Nelly, and it was one other person I can't remember who it was. But it was it was cool. Like and, it, and every game that we had with twos came down to it. Then yeah. Catino Mobile hit me up. I want to be in the next one. I'm like, yeah. okay. <laughs> Jason uh, White yeah. Chocolate hit me up. Like, oh, can I can I bring? And I was with Bionic. Yeah. He was like, yeah, I want I want to be in. I was like. Are you sure? Right. Like, are you, yeah. I don't know if you've been in the gym like that, but right. he played against Diamond P. I saw that. I watched yeah, that. Yeah, I'm like, I watched that. Yeah, he was letting I'm like, Diamond but anyway. was going crazy. Yeah, that was said, yeah, yeah, they you got to contest some of come these. Come on, come on now. <laughs> so, but the tools are always fun. So, like, you know, it was just a lot of us trying stuff and, yeah. you know, we could have made it take off. We end up, cause I don't, I never know what's going to take. I just try stuff yeah. and just back up from it. If it do, what it do, whatever. So. Um, but that, nobody gives me credit for it. I don't need it. And I just enjoy watching all the stuff that's out there now because now I ain't got to be battling against everybody hurt every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I think I think that's a hidden gem too, bro. Um, you hit the nail on the head with that one. Um, that's kind of how I move. Mm -hmm. I don't need basketball. I don't like I have so many different things that I do. Um, so many different things I have my hand in that I'm I like I was just telling you before, I try to help as many people as I can. Like you can ask anybody that's ever talk to me like if, if there was a way I could help them I did so um, but you're in a situation though because you win and people yeah. hate winners oh, so like all the time. so like I uh, <laughs> they love them at first they do and then when it just keeps happening everybody wants to attack you and they turn you into a villain it doesn't even matter what you do off the court only the people who you're around know who you are it's just like oh yeah. oh dang like Nitty's cool like we hang out with him. and it's funny because like I I hang out I before Hezzy was yeah. who he was, yeah. I knew who Hezzy was, you uh -huh. know. So like they just see how he plays and yeah. just to, you know, he's they, an a-hole. Judge it off yeah. that. So there's two things I'm gonna go through off that, because I'm glad you brought that up. One was Xavier Moon. So remind me to go back to that. Mm -hmm. But one of my favorite quotes is, um, you either live long enough to see yourself become the villain uh, or Batman. you die the hero. Yeah. It's one of my favorite movies. Me you too. die the hero. Me too. So that's me. I've been right. around for so long. I've been successful for so long mm -hmm. that now it's like, let's tear him down or let's throw the best next young dude at him. Like, it's a million people that can beat me. I'm I'm not that guy that's going to sit here like, oh, yeah, man, I'm 34. My knees right. hurt after every time I play. I ice before <laughs> right. and after I play. Mm -hmm. I'm not some guy. I understand where the YouTube community put me and other people put me. But I can be beat, and I mm -hmm. feel like people don't realize that. I feel like people just want to throw people against me, so either they people can get clout, or you know they can beat me and tarnish my name. That's y'all can have it. I, I'm we, me and Ball's life is working on something that we are gonna have where everybody can get their clips, clout, and all that. But uh, to back to go back to X thing, Xavier Moon, me and him had that conversation before mm -hmm. he played on my Julie League team. Uh, He's good and, too. Listen, <laughs> I saw him play one time, bro. I was like. All right, I need him. But I didn't know how to go about it because at first he didn't like me. But he didn't like me because of how I played. Mm -hmm. But nobody understands until they come and watch. So he got to watch it firsthand at Legacy League. He got to watch how people antagonize me. He got to watch how people want me to lose. He earned the respect. Basically. He had to watch people who would shake my hand uh, or who would hate on me on the sideline and then shake my hand after I win the game. So he got to see it all and he didn't understand that. So he was like, damn, like you really like most hate it and it's, it's weird. And it's, it's a crazy time because, like you said, people really hate winners. So um, that's something that I'm dealing with right now, too, man. It's a tough area. But uh, but see, the thing about this, though, is, like, this is why I'm so cool off of 
I don't need social media anymore. I, I, I consider it like this. It's better to be rich in spirit than rich financially. And everybody's like, oh, I, if I have money, uh, you know, nah. this and that. You don't know what it's like. Nope. You don't know. You don't understand what it's like to go out with Westbrook and see that he can't do anything. He can't, can't go to normal. Walmart. Can't be normal. He can't, he can't be normal. He can't even go to Disneyland with his the happiest place on earth yeah. and have a normal day with his kids. Like, so I'd rather be right where I'm at, rich in spirit, because I'm happy all the time. Yeah. I got a son. I got a wife. And we do cool things together. I'm trying to do more. But, like, that's my life. I, everybody sees all this social media stuff, and they just think, oh, that's just who Devin. No, you don't know me. <laughs> you don't know. And, 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 and flipping back to what you were saying, too, this is also a, a burden that we kind of brought on ourselves because of the, the generation that we grew up in. I'm going to explain. We talk a lot of trash. But people, people don't understand, like, I don't hate you. No. It's just how it's just how you know you ever played uh, dominoes or all these other games you could play, you just talk trash. Or, I don't no, think they did. I know they didn't because they're on their <laughs> phones. And, and, yeah. and it's just like that's why people can't do simple things like read and speak because they're on their phone so much and, yeah. and they don't connect with the world and know how to talk trash and understand that we can play and we can yeah. talk trash and you can win or I can win. But at yeah. the end of the day, I want to just go chill. And I ain't got to hate this dude. Like, I, we I all got better. I grew up with older brothers that would kick my ass in a video game. Never let me win. I would sit there <laughs> in tears. They would talk. As they're winning, talking shit to That's me. That's the worst, too. Bro, there's nothing worse <laughs> than somebody whoop your ass and you do nothing about it, and they're talking crazy to you in the process. Mm -hmm. It's the worst thing you can ever experience. Dude. It makes you tougher. It and I mentally. Like we don't, yeah, mentally it made me stronger. Like, no, I'm going to get through this. I'm going to figure it out. And right. like, we don't have that in this generation. No, now it's, it's like, let me run to the phone. Let me go cry to like it's it's just a, a soft generation. It's also why people are and this is my fault. This is Ball's life fault. This is who makes sense fault. This year is fine. This is all of our faults because it's the cameras have made everybody afraid to like really get in and somebody Georgia play defense because you don't want to end up on a highlight. But like I understand how things work and it just happened. I've been on the wrong end of a highlight and it's just like you and me both. Life still goes on. <laughs> you and me both. It'm still goes on, you know, and I, I, I'm not still living all that other stuff. If somebody brings it up, I can joke, but I can laugh at myself. Do they bring it up I, a lot with you? No. Because like, cause, you know how much I hear it? Every oh, chance no, every, they get. Every yeah. chance they get. Because everybody wants to be you. That's why. It's just weird. Like, I, Will Bynum whoop my ass when you're in a big three. I don't stop hearing about it. Anytime <laughs> anybody see me kick somebody else's ass, they bring that up. I love the fact that I've done so much to a point where y'all got to go back to shit that old. That means I've done a lot. And I've gone up against the best people. And if you got to go back that far, I'm doing my job. You're doing your job, but at the same time, there's nothing you're ever going to be able to do because you're a winner. And people hate winners, and they're always going to try to bring them down because they want to be you. And everybody wants a shortcut in order to be you, but they don't understand how you got there. There's are steps to success. And I always like to hear Steph talk about yeah. shooting because yeah. he said he started in front of the room and made his way back and was frustrated, was mad. Yeah. Everybody thought it they keep telling me he's born with it, but I talked to the dude about nah. it, and he said he was not. Nah. It ain't no coincidence it's that work, man. that that his dad was a shooter and his brother's information that's passed out. Just like if I have money, my I'm passing this information down to my kids so that he can have money. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. It's not just about giving it to him. Yeah. It's how can I teach you how to fish? You know, instead of just you eating off of everybody else's... No, I'm going to teach you how to fish, yeah. and you can live forever. You can eat forever. You know what I'm saying? I, so, anyways. I love I love that you brought that up, because this year, um, I made that a point of emphasis. And I know people thought I was going to come back the same this year. But I told everybody from the beginning of the year, like, I was going to go crazy. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how crazy I was going to go, but I knew, like, it was going to be a wrap for people. Because everybody expected me to come back the same nitty that's going to take bad shots and not a good three-point shooter. Mm -hmm. I was good enough this year, and I wasn't even as good as I wanted to be. I took so many days off, but I was good enough to where a catch and shoot was knocked down. I probably, what you think I shot? All right, about seventy five percent on the catch and shoot. I didn't miss. I didn't miss the catch and you shoot. Shouldn't. Off the dribble, it's a little different, mm -hmm. but I shot it good enough to win us a championship in the Drew. It was like, oh shit, like we gotta. Okay, we can't do what we used to do. So I definitely got in the gym and put in that work just to like just to shut people up. Like I, I hear stuff good, good stuff about you too in the gym because I talked to uh, Julie, you know Jerome Randall. Oh, that's he my said dog. you guys had a couple battles, but like you're competitive and that, that was good. No, him, I was going against him and Pierre Jackson. <laughs> Whew, yeah, that was that's a time. You got 
nightmare. Guard them dudes are fast. I'm 6'2", and they're smaller, so low man wins. You can't get lower than them. Them dudes are fast. But crazy. But I'm, I'm saying that to say it's just like you're competitive, you know, and, and that, that goes a long ways, and that's the reason why you are who you are. That's the reason why I am who I am because I'm competitive in a lot of different places, not just basketball, but I understand, I think, just from having this conversation with you, you understand yourself. 100%. And if you don't understand yourself, you you never go anywhere oh, yeah, at yeah. anything. So and then I I like uh, when you said just go back a little bit on um, you're happy. Oh, I don't think flesh. a lot of people I don't think a lot of people realize that. And I think when people see me talk about the NBA and they talk about all this stuff, you don't know what that's like, man. Mm-hmm. You don't know what it's like dealing with friends becoming weirdos because you got money now. Your family becoming weirdos because you got money now. Um, you don't know what it's like to deal with somebody bet their whole mortgage on you to have twenty that game and you don't get it. Mm-hmm. Now they blowing your DMs up. Um, that's countless people. Uh, there's so much that comes with that side of life, and um, I've never wanted any of it. And every, every in every interview I've ever done, you'll hear me say that. If you ask Damian Lillard right now to this day, um, I just tell him always, I don't give a fuck about basketball. This this is just something I'm doing. This mm-hmm. is not what I want to like do as a career. So um, I it's love to hear that from people. People know who, and you never touched the NBA, right? Nope. People know who Frank Nitty is before they know who played last night for the Lakers. Um, you know, trying out for the team before they know who, who some of these guys are on uh, on the bench or some of the, the guys that made the team. And the reason why is because, you know, you just dominated your lane. And that's that's the one thing I learned from Dane. He was just like, I was an interview. I, was he dominate in, where you was at? That was the, that stuck said. with me, bro. That's I it really stuck. Said. Yeah, I was like, oh, this yeah. is did this fly by everybody else's head? <laughs> it did. You know, all you got to do is just do what you do where you are and yep. just expand out. They gonna hear about it later. They gonna come to you. You I know, know what I mean? I saw him put in so much work in that gym, bro. He has the best work at the. It's a reason. Ben's not the fastest player. He's not the most athletic player. He's not. He's not the most talented player you've ever seen. But his work ethic is unreal, bro. I tell people this story all the time because I like to put it in perspective. When we all went home for college, you know, you get that break and everybody mm-hmm. go home. Dane didn't go home. Yeah, Dane stayed, stayed there and got better. Phil Beckner, still his trainer. Still his guy. Got better. Jesus so when we got him. back after partying and out of shape, Dane was in that top was tier year, shape. Huh? Yes. Went crazy, bro. Went crazy. And like I said, love stories like that. Because it's just, it puts a perspective that we don't work hard and we're lazy as, as athletes. We're lazy. Yeah, you, and we're, you take we're somebody babies. like that, though. It takes somebody like that. And then I asked him one question. Um, I'm in there playing guitar here. I'll put it down here in there writing rap. And I'm sitting there I'm like, I'm like, bro, what if basketball don't work out for you? Man, this man looked at me like I was Albert Einstein. I was <laughs> floating in his room. What you mean? It's going to work for me? That's literally what he said to me. And like, that switch in my head, I was like, yeah, he, he was sure of it. it. He going to make it, bro. Because yeah, it, it's the work ethic he was putting in and his mind was made up already. And he was in college. Know. That's, and yeah, bro. And I love to see <laughs> that at a mid major. People don't have that mindset. Mm-mm. But um, enough about that. Let's go on to the next thing, man. I got to hear your opinion. Top five handles. Um, yeah, top five. Okay, so are we talking about moves? Because that's all right, handles so in the league in general. Handles, right, so, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna keep it up. Okay, so we'll go handles. So I got Kyrie. Okay. You know. I watch Steph a lot. I was about to say, I don't know if you're gonna put him in there. Steph in mind. He's a, he's gotta be in he's mind in because mind. his moves don't look as nice as a lot of guys, but his control is excellent. Bingo. And it's his excellent. Hat, hat is crazy. Are we talking about present? It just in the league. Yeah, so present in the league. I don't want to go over the span of forever because you know people are gonna have their yeah. This is tough. Uh hardest control is very good, but I don't know if I say he has the best handles, but He's up there. Um, for lack, of, I'm gonna just throw him up there. Uh, three. Dang, who else is it? He threw me on the spot with that yeah, one. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking well, I can uh, give you one. Who? Oh, give me one. Bones Island. I was just thinking. Ooh. I was just going down the names. Yeet. Boy. Okay, so I, I'm gonna I'm throw. Cause you know what I got put on with Bones Island. He was a kid, and it's like this little video. It's it's just like a hood, really? hood ass video. Crazy. He, He in the middle where you from Philadelphia, wherever he's from. There's <laughs> girls out there dancing. It's like it's like a like a movie or something. Yeah. Dude sl- shooting dice on one side and, <laughs> and he's just going playing one on one. I'm like, oh, he's gonna make it. I was, I was sitting with my friend, I'm like, oh, he's a basketball player. Right. And he and sure enough he made it. I, what, what college does he go to? 
I don't even know. I didn't, I didn't know him until he got to the Clippers oh, no. his first year. Oh, no. And he I, was snatching and yanking and hezzy. And he I could said, dribble oh, the yeah. ball. Give me another Give me another one. I'll tell you, yeah or nay. Um, that was my three. I had, I had Kyrie, Steph, and Bones Highland. Um, oh, that's tough, that's man. That's very tough because in a league, like, not, not a lot of people get that, like, leeway. Like, yeah, I know. That's know. true. Who? Oh, there, yeah, Ooh, that I was mean, nasty. I mean, he top right, so, three. So I top made, three. yeah, he top three. <laughs> he top three. I, all right, so like, let me tell you a story about Darius. So I was coaching for the Adidas team that would go out to Europe, uh, EuroLeague. No, not EuroLeague, Euro Cup. I can't remember. It was, it was an Adidas event. Zion was hurt. He couldn't play. Cam Reddish was on the team. Uh, um, what's the dude with the crazy? Nazir Little or Reed? Nazir? Reed. Little, Reed. No, no, it's oh, Little. Is it Little? Yeah, it's two. Just, it's Nas two Reed. He was there too. Oh, okay. Um, Lou Dort. It was a male quickly. It was also Darius Garland. So we get up and I'm coaching, right? We get up in layup lines. And so I'm like playing, you know, defense, but my competitive juice is kicked in. So I'm like, I'm just talking shit, sliding in front of people. <laughs> oh, yeah, ain't going to work. So Darius Garland got, he got up to the front of the line. He's like kind of like a really goofy guy. Mm-hmm. And he's just kind of all just running around doing his thing. And I'm like, like sitting in front of him. I'm at the three point, he's tagging me from the half court. You know how hard that is, Garland. Yeah. Somebody ran at you. Facts. It felt like a gust of wind blew by me. And I, and, and I was one way, he was the other, and I didn't know what he did. So I, I'm like, okay, cool, I'm okay, nigga. So, so second time it comes around, he did it again. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, he's the real deal. So we were playing, this is when the Jelly fam was going going crazy, right? So you had uh, JQ, Javon Quinterly, right? Yeah. He's playing him, or there's Garland, and quickly were easily the best players. They, they, they yeah. dominate, but... Nobody could stop Garland, bro. No, the, he was his bag different. Cause you know you play overseas, they're moving the ball, they're yeah. playing extra help. It looked like he was still playing on the street. <laughs> like, like he was crossing everybody like bad and laying people out the basket. Yeah. Dudes were just like looking at their coaches like that's when you know you got them when they yeah, do one of the. Yeah. I, I tried, I got a hand up, but you know, long story short, he's definitely up there. He and he's probably in my three. He definitely he's top three for me. He definitely he replaces Harden. I try to get him way. in the Drew. I try to get him in the Drew. That's my guy. We talk from uh, time to time. He's good. Got game. I try to um, get him in the Drew so bad. And he's fast. Okay, yeah. so he has everything. Has he behind the backs? You know who I would have threw in there as my fifth? Bro. Uh, SJ. Oh man. I would have threw that. I just don't know. Bro. Not, I don't watch he's, enough. He's over harder than me. <laughs> I, yeah, I, he's over he harder than me. His everything is so calm. It, it's tough. Smooth. Yeah. He got everything. And, and is he, he like? Is his shoulders like yeah, made he, of steel? He's He's six eight. Ain't he? He's six eight. He's, he's six. He he's six, six plus. He's six six plus. Yeah, I'm he, sure. He's definitely. I don't know. I just know he's taller. He, Everything he does just looks too easier, and he plays bigger. He's got a smooth game. Yep. He plays bigger. Pace. He'll shift you. And his pace is unbelievable. He's got a weird shot, but it, it goes in. Bad. So you can't Bad. really stop. Man, he's out there. He got. He, he's Bad. like he's like four. He's like four for me. So I will ask. I there. Who's he, who's your five? That's what it would be. It would be. So you got, you got Kyrie, three for sure. Steph, Bones Highland, uh, Darius Garland, and SGA. I don't. I don't. I don't That's know. That's a good one, though. I, yeah, I don't know. Though. Like no, I don't watch enough them. hoop. I don't watch enough hoop to know more. Like people who have it on the string like that. It used to be for me, Kimba Walker, but yeah, obviously he ain't in the league no more. Yeah, so I didn't pick him. He's shifty for sure. Love Kimba, man. Yeah, he um, getting people with the same moves too. Yeah, crazy. That left to right different. Yeah, what? <laughs> um, um, top five mixtapes ever. Okay, so out of respect, I'm gonna throw. Uh, John Wall up there. Oh, his was crazy. I respect because he kind of like started the whole thing off, in my opinion, and really got it going. So there's John Wall, um, all of Brandon Jennings' uh, summer mixtapes. I don't think people realize how different he was. He's nasty. Man. Shout out to uh, Brandon nasty. Jennings, bro. Yeah, and, oh, and he's not playing anymore, but he's... I, bro, bro, his he, mixtapes were nasty. I played him and in watching high, them. I played him in high school. Yeah. Destroyed us. Yeah, he's good. It wasn't even close. Just left-handed, athletic. Yeah. He's sneaky yeah, athletic. People didn't everything. know that. Middies, three balls. That's two. You got to throw a kill car up there um, because he just was so short doing all that where he did. But it's almost like a tie with him and Trey Jefferson because I watched Trey. And Trey Jefferson, every game, he was going for 40. I was fil- <laughs> And I was filming it. So like, I didn't know what to expect. It was yeah. the first game I was filming. I didn't even know who he was. Um, he's playing with Kevin Looney, and and every game he's going for forty. And everybody's trying to stop him. One game they they uh, pull up on, I come to him because he's not playing good, 
And I'm um, talking to his teammates, and they're warming up uh, for the second half. I'm like, hey, uh, what's going on with Trey? They're like, hey, don't worry, he's going to have 40. He had eight, and it ended with like 47. And, so like, and he's playing against the best competition, so yeah. it's, it, that's almost a tie. I'm going to just uh, move on from there. Then I got uh, Marcus Levette. You pick a mixtape, well, whoever mixtape, he, he, he had a crazy one. He, he, was, he was good. High school, he was amazing. Um, you know, this is a, this is not popular opinion, but Andrew Wiggins had a no, really no. crazy mixtape. His was fire. It was nasty. His was Oh, fire. my gosh. Uh, I didn't know he was that athletic. What? He was crazy athletic. He, athletic. he could move, too. Yeah. You thought he was Jesus with the basketball in high school. Because I watched him play, and he actually was doing that. Yeah. You know, it looked like his miss because he was just so much more athletic. And then he's hard to score on, too. Yeah, yeah, so, nobody, so, Eric, you try, to, you try to make some, even yeah. if you get him a little bit oh. Got a hand up. I say if it wasn't for him, Golden State wouldn't won that championship. No, they, oh, of course yeah. not. The last one, no, no yeah. way. I was no like, way. He was such a because he was guarding player. everybody, guarding he was, everybody, and he was giving you twenty plus a night. Tatum couldn't score on him. Yeah, he was. He, he was couldn't different. score on him. He was different. Uh-oh. But but well, okay. Give me give me your top three. I didn't watch mixtapes. What? Didn't watch mixtapes. It had to be like cra- like the people I used to watch was like Jordan, Kobe. Like that's what yeah, I, I was, watched. I, I watched that, that stuff. I didn't really watch. I wasn't into like. High school, college basketball back then, it wasn't my thing because I didn't enjoy basketball. I was like on that. it. I, I was, was on it. stuff. <laughs> cause, cause, and, and there's a reason why, too, because I was getting into editing. Uh, that so makes that's sense. like that the main sense. reason I was like, oh, And that's man. the space you should be in. I was time. learning. I was learning all that stuff. So gotcha. What year was that? He can tell you better. But it was. It had to have been from 2010 on. And yeah, Gordon was, had a good mixtape, too. I just bounced back to... Uh, uh, Kyle said, like, yeah, I wasn't watching no basketball. Are you a Kobe guy? Yeah. Okay, I'm a Kobe guy. So, like, I give Kobe credit for uh, making working out, like, a, a good okay. thing. Because, well, like I said. What was your top three ever? Uh, I'm, a you Jordan, I'm a Jordan. No, I, I go. I, I, no go problem. Ahead. Jordan Kobe. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm a. I like that. Yeah, Jordan oh, Kobe. That, Mike. I like that because I hate that they yeah. don't put Kobe in the top three. You're crazy. Yeah, that's, You're it's, crazy. it's just stupid. He was imitating. He was, he, immediately, he was imitating yeah, Jordan, and yeah. he won five championships. If you just look at him playing basketball, it's like, all right. Unbelievable. Like he's a, yeah, he's unbelievable. unbelievable. People don't realize that he had a handle. He had everything. And back this to is the not, basket. And, and everything. Look, I'm not saying this because he passed away. I'm, I was saying this when he was alive. Same. You Same. know, so I got to out of respect, because I'm not necessarily a LeBron guy, but I, it's Bron. I have a huge respect for LeBron, but he's number three on my list. Yeah. But if you mix those up, but if you ain't got Kobe in your top five, nah, do not talk to, to me. I can't listen. Do to not you. talk to me. Yeah. I'm not a guy who puts bigs in their top five um, normally. And you know when Bill Russell was winning them, how many teams were in the league? But I didn't watch him. Okay. You know, so I can't yeah. necessarily put, same same. I didn't watch same. him. So I can't even. I, I can't even go. I watch my dad forced me. If you go in my dad's garage right now, there's a. A wall full of VHS there, uh, Laker games. We used to record them. We, I never missed one growing up. And so I watched Magic because my dad recorded them. So I know that he belongs in the top. If you don't have him in the top, your top five all the time, you got to be top five point guards because I watch how good he is. Yeah. You know, nice. so nice. Um, the fifth one is just whoever you want to put in there. There's a lot of good players. I but know, right? I totally uh, Then I'm okay I with a Kareem. Between, uh... I'm see. I'm not a Kareem guy. I talk between Shaq and Tim Duncan a lot for that fifth spot. The Shaq was unstoppable, but yeah. I just watched Shaq get get killed by Elijah one too much. Uh, he was getting worked out, but I wouldn't put a Shaq below Elijah one on my all time list. Shaq is like six or seven to me, but like if you're talking about dominant, I'm okay with him being five. Like I really am. Who, who's watching, your other one? Watching uh, it was Shaq or Tim Duncan. <sighs> yeah, Timmy, Timmy's a tough one. I love Timmy, man. He yeah. no wrong. Did no wrong. Yeah, man, you got some, team, you got some good questions today. Great this is the first one. What? This is your first uh, podcast? Yeah, it's my first. Oh, this is yeah, it's going great because you got some good <laughs> questions. It's spicy. <laughs> Top five favorite high school hoopers. Okay, so, so like I said, Trey Jefferson, beyond like I watched him, okay. you know, and so uh, that's that's number one on the list. Uh, I watched Marcus Levette as I was making a documentary about a kid, and he killed him. Like, Marcus killed this kid. <laughs> it was embarrassing. Uh, but, yeah, he got a couple bucks in there. But uh, Marcus is number two. 
I watched uh, Zion was a really fun watch when I went. He just had a really good game. Uh, this is random, but I played against Monte Ellis, and oh. and it was it was like trying Different. to guard Different. like a, a, a fast moving. Car. I couldn't I couldn't touch him, yeah. and I was in ninth grade. He was in twelve. I couldn't do nothing he when he was problem. a fat, but it was fun just watching him and guarding him. I think that's another player that a lot of people don't talk about is Monte. He right. was different, bro. Um, he was so good. Who else? I, I bet to you know. There was a time where Greg Oden was. I think he was the best player in this class, and Mike Conley and all these guys. And I watched them play against the, some species or something. But OJ Mayo uh, was absolutely dominant. He didn't miss a shot. I don't think people realize he was as nice as he was. You know man. why he dominated so much too is because he was skilled more than people were at that age. Yep. He was able to shoot. Yep. So like a lot of kids growing up in our generation, yep. dunk everything. We dunk everything. dunk everything. If you had handles and bounce, you were looked at as the yep. like the best thing in the world. But like we didn't think about what Steph is doing. We yep. couldn't. So, so everybody was. Just, I'm looking at Baron Davis. I'm looking at Steve Francis. I'm looking at all these dudes with handles and bounce. Yeah, they can shoot, but what made them fun was that. So, like, when I saw it, man. That's, what, I, that's what messed up a lot of OJ our brains. OJ was unbelievable. That's I, what honestly. messed up a lot of our brains. All the highlights and all the dunk. It, it, it cooks us, bro. It cooked us. Oh they could have showed us somebody going for 10 straight threes. No, I, I didn't care about none of that. Yeah, nobody did. I didn't care about none so of that. So, it's crazy. Bro. I wanted to defend yeah. and cross you back up, cross you cross you one time, bring it back, and do it again. Yeah, you was I was like, what was I doing, work. man? Yeah, I was looking at my phone. Go to the basket. I'm pissed off watching. Yeah, I had to learn to simplify my game after. After two, um, I used to do a lot of that. I still do it from time to time because I'll be having too much fun. That's fun. Um, but yeah, I had to learn to simplify that for sure. Um, not a great one, it's a great one. Top five players you'd love to train with or have trained with? I would love to train with Kobe. Yeah, I, I think great greatness is an infinite growth. You know, every single day, are you getting better and better and better? Are you constantly growing? I'm like the reason why is because I'm a deep practice guy. So yeah. like, what that means is. Some people go to something and they kind of, oh, they do this. They work on dribbling. They work on shooting. They work on rebounding or whatever, whatever they work on, right? Kobe, are the stories I hear about him, he will work on the same thing over and over and over. Greatness is not a destination. I think it's a process more so than anything. You know, if you have that mentality, then you'll continually chase greatness. He spent 45 minutes in one spot. I know some of the guys that, that he trained with. And so I just thought that was like the coolest thing because now I process that differently. I... I Apply to, I'm learning a guitar. Okay. So I take one hour, turn my phone off, deep practice, and I keep track. Sometimes I film myself just to see where I'm at. And in that process of understanding that you'll never truly achieve it, but you'll keep getting better every single day and you'll continually strive to reach your fullest potential. And I think that process and that journey is what greatness is. I'm like, okay, the deep practice is where I'm, uh, where I'm really, instead of trying to learn this and learn that and then go to piano, it's just, just focus on one thing. Just focus on your three-point shot for, for a whole month. Yeah. Imagine where you'd be at the end of that 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 month. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Kobe's one of them. Uh, another person is Steph. Uh, I would love to train with Steph. He got a lot of funky drills. Uh, Dane is, is one. Uh, and you know what's funny, too? Like, back then, I wouldn't want to do that. Now I'm in a mindset because I just, like, Passing that information down to kids. Gotcha. Because I train a lot of kids. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny, but like Elijah one. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. It's foot, footwork. Yeah, it's because of footwork. Yeah. Like people still go to him yeah. for footwork. Yeah. That's how unbelievable he was. He, he was unbelievable. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't have a fifth person that I could think about, um, to be honest with you. I just, Darren Garland from a just how fun he is. Yeah. Just, oh, try this more. See you, yeah, bro. Like, it would be nice to see you do this in the game. Let's try this. For sure. You know, but he's, he's a, like I said, I talked to him right now. He's just a great kid. Like, yeah. great dude. Nah, most of, most of, most people we've talked about today have just been great people. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get to a fun segment really quick. Uh, five things you'd bring to a deserted island. Okay. Um, this is going to sound stupid, but water. Because <laughs> you can't drink because you can't drink ocean water. That's smart. That's not stupid. You can't drink ocean water. Look at the coconuts and cactuses and right. shit is out. No, no, it's done. It's a wrap. <laughs> I forgot how to make fire. Um, dang, I can't just bring. I'll be living off the land, so hopefully there's some fruit there because you you can't bring anything like that'll go bad, right? Uh, I'll bring a fishing rod. 
because I got to bring the fish in. Jeez. So uh, water, a fishing rod, uh, can't do anything with electricity. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> this is a good one. You got me at two right now? I don't like that. Uh, I, you know, I say this. You know, your mental is everything, and I would bring my guitar. And the reason why is because if I want to keep living, I need something to keep me going. I need to be able to sing some songs and, you know, play, learn some songs, that type of stuff. So I bring something that kind of would entertain me. I wouldn't bring a basketball, that's for sure. Um, wouldn't bring books. No. Nope. I'm, I'm, but I can only bring if I were to bring a book, I can only bring one. I was about to see you reading the same book. Oh, yeah, no. I can't. I, no, no books. Uh, I'm tapped out. Give me two. Uh, fruit seeds. Ah, <laughs> what? Can, can, can I just bring can, one? It depends. I I feel like I've never fruit seed shopped, so I'm just gonna say fruit seeds. So right, whatever I get, that I get entails, all, I'm planting that shit. What else? I'm planting that shit. Um. That is a good one, man. That's a good one. That's a great question. Okay, Ooh. we need to eat. We need to. I just we need you to got drink water, to survive. You got fishing rod for. To, I'm, I'm, for I can, I'm good on that. that. I got, got my entertainment. Yep. Um, we can grow fruit. Yeah, so we go with that. I don't you know, need, know that last one. Last, what you bring? Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You got some? I need something just in case I need to get rescued. Am I stuck or did I go there on purpose? Yeah, that's just, you, you are a deep thinker. I'll give you that. Because every bro. time I give you a question, you be trying to die. I, I like your questions. Like, You've been asking so many. I like them, though. Anyway, whatever. I'm dead. Um, I'm by myself. I don't know. I'm just going. Honestly, I, I'm, a, I'm a religious person, so I bring a Bible. I know it sounds crazy. I bring a razor. Yeah. A razor? Are you going to just... I got to thug it, bro. <laughs> I, do, I, I don't like itching, bro. Like It drives me crazy, I you, so man. I'll be... Figuring out a way to make some shake. I feel you on that. Oh, and I, like no, that was a funny I like that. One. So, real quick, what's your take on the YouTube basketball scene? Um, where's it going? How it's been? How, I don't how, like it. How can it be better? I don't like it. You know I why? Hate I hate it. Do you know why? Because it's grown to be toxic because people want to be people like you. So they'll do anything in order to get in that in that spotlight, right? And and the thing is, I didn't get hit by hating on people. And let me just stop you for a second. I've never wanted any of this. You can ask Ball's Life and everybody how much free content I done gave them. I never asked. All I did every day was go out there and play hard. I promise you. Everything else is just me competing. But go ahead. Yeah. And, and so I see a lot of people like they have to, they feel like they have to put on this certain persona or whatever. And I get it because I'm a camera guy. I've been, I've worked for Siren Studio. I work for a lot of different people. I've, did movie trailers. Um, so I get the drama behind it yeah. and, you know, what people want to watch. I didn't have to to do all that to get there. So, like, when I see it, I don't relate to it. And I'm naturally kind of introverted. I like being in my house. I like being with my family. So I don't need all this extra stuff. There's a lot of people that, um, you know, start fights. And yeah. they do this and they you know, get up in people's face. Don't get up in my face. I don't, yeah. I don't do well with that type of stuff. So people know. You know, and I'll tell you ahead because I know that you're that type of person. Yeah. Like, uh, if, if I've seen you doing that video, I'm like, hey, look, like, I don't. That ain't how I, I move. can't. I, I, don't I, react, I react weird like that. You know, I so. personally told Ball's Life and then myself, like, if I do get into it, somebody edit it out. I don't yeah. want it in there. I don't want to be. I don't want to be seen like that, that either. It, it ain't even a vibe I want. I don't want people showing up to our takeovers, our events, expecting right. that out of me because that's not how I move. So I get that. You have to do the. I don't like that that they make you. And, and they mean an algorithm. Yeah. Oh, like, comment, subscribe, do all yeah. this, and make sure you it's thirsty. Like, yeah, I, I don't like thirsty. being looked at as a. That's why I, you know my videos. It was always about inspiration. I yeah. did Make a Wish Foundations, and you know, you know, literally granted a wish from a kid that's dead now. Yeah. You know, and so like I didn't get to that point by like hating or trying to bring down another person. And uh, and if I ever did, um, you know, appearing to be that way, it was because I was angry at what I was seeing. So I, you know, what? I'm gonna just burn all this stuff down. But now I'm just like, you know what? I feel like that's I how everybody need, get done. I don't like, need this. Anytime is anytime is crazy or emotion heavy. Um, as men, nine times out of ten, that's how we re we respond to things. We respond to things very egocentric um mm -hmm. high testosterone like we don't have like a i get being competitive though yeah yeah i get 100%. being competitive but like i just seen too much right yeah. and i you know i know a lot of people come up hey man i really respect what you do blah 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 and those same people will just be oh i killed them i'm like we didn't even play 
Like oh, somebody be I promise, <laughs> promise you this has happened multiple I times. Hear it all the time. People be coming to me like, hey, are you you could I heard you was getting killed by I'm like, I never even met this dude. And they be showing the TikTok. I'm going, I'm like, I don't know this person. You know, I could really throw some names that would, would, would throw you for a loop right now. I've had, but listen, I've had, I've had, I ain't gonna say no names. I've had somebody coming to my house crying about different stuff, about what they're experiencing. And then that same person go to a game and cheer for me to lose. <laughs> yeah, it's, At it's my a, house, on my it's couch. It's a sick game. Yeah, it's a sick game. Crying about the shit you're going through in life. Right. And then you come to my game and want me to lose. Right. Mind blown. I had to just remove myself. But um, but but meeting people like you and me, honestly, uh, Nas from I love uh, him, man. From Ballers Life Great East, guy. he's Great cool. Great kid. Great kid. He's man. cool. He's young. He's good too. And like, like you really, know, meeting really good. Bro. Yeah, really meeting people good. like that, I'm like, okay, yeah. I like I like where you're going. I like yeah. where a few guys in the space are going. Um, I had a, a you know. I had a bunch of encounters with guys like Frigga and a few other guys, and he's a great storyteller. Yeah, he's a great like story, and I like that uh, you're. Frigga. But but to uh, my, so my point and what you're saying is great because I see how hard he's working to do that type of stuff, yep. and he's learning. He's asking me questions about editing, and I love that he's like taking it serious. 100%. So like when I see that, I'm like, okay, he's going in the right. He's doing things right. And there's a list of other guys that are doing things right, and I'm just like, y'all got it, but. When I see these people coming up and trying to get a quick, you know, viral video, I'm like, oh, no, you ain't going to. Yeah, ain't gonna it, it ain't going to last. It ain't going to last. Off, so. um, all right, then, since we just brought up a couple of people, um, a question on the list. Top five hoopers in the YouTube space right now. No bias, no glazing. <laughs> you're, the, you're the biggest winner. Nah, I, I, I'm the biggest winner, but I think there's more talented people. I'll give you the biggest winner. Um, I, I value winning. I'm a Kobe guy. Same. I'm a Jordan guy. Same. So like, I'm gonna give that. I, Cause Carl, this is what I got to go off of. You know, this is kind of going back to the top five thing, right? I got to go off of how much have you won and what are my eyes tell me? You know what I'm saying? So not even like trying to, you know, glaze or whatever, but I'll put you up there. Um, in terms of basketball, like. Nas is a really tough guard, bro. Listen, he gave us hell. So you you speak you uh, preaching to the choir. He's right a now. tough guard. When we played against him, he was I mean, it wasn't really the Savage Squad, but like he he played with them. He ran. It was him and Juice. He ran into me on a fast break. I cut him off too. Yeah. But the shoulder that I received from that, I'm like, <laughs> oh okay, I got it now. Because he kept trying to. They call it foul, but I, he kept trying to go through me. Yeah. And I, yeah. that's one thing. Are you some people get bumped. And some yeah. people initiate that kind. He was yeah. looking for nah, it. So no, he liked nine, contact. Nine is way up there. Big um, Shout out Big Guard, man. <laughs> you know, I'm connected. Yeah, seriously, though. I'm connected. <laughs> I'm connected with Frigga. I've seen him in a lot of different spaces. I've competed against him for bread. Um, I'm going to put him in there. And you know who I like? Um, and this is almost like a two-way tie. It's not even because you're here. I really like tying body back defensively. Yeah, it and when, my job so much easier. But but Ty is like inconsistent as a shooter. But when he's going, it's, especially one on one, you can't. It's hard to let, stop let him. Let me tell you how many times. I wish we had the audio from this. I I have to make him shoot the ball. I have to make him take shots. And he Ty started going ball. at Venice. He started going he early. Did. He did, and yeah. then he did that in the Drew too, and subbed himself out. Ty just don't have like the stamina to no, no. keep going. I can tell. To keep, he'll sub himself out or he'll check out mentally mm-hmm. because he's tired. Mm-hmm. But I have to remind him, bro, score the ball, bro. You're so hard to guard. You're six six, so you can do everything. <laughs> and Go he's sc- bouncy as hell, bro. Go score the ball. So. so them two defensively, like I like, they're tough. They're tough to score. I can just yeah. look and just yeah. tell. Um, I got to give you two more, and I'm gonna go off of somebody who I just like watching play. And he's fun to watch. He has a fun game. Uh, his name is J. Lou. He just has. Oh, he's fun for me to watch. That's uh. He played with Frigga. He, he, he's fun for me to watch. Game. Now, when we played, it was like uh, he's like a buck thirty. You know, so oh, I'm going. Yeah, I ain't I'm, never seen yeah, him. Yeah, so. But but in terms of me just watching basketball, watching hunt, he's yeah. so much fun to watch, bro. Yeah, he got game. Um. So I got that's four. He played like Bones Highland, low key. Yeah, he, he no, he does. Game. He That's does. The same type of game. I'm trying to think of uh, one more person. Can't go that direction. You probably laugh if I said that one. Uh, nah, who is it? Go ahead. No, 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 no. We're off camera. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> off camera is crazy. Yeah, because because he's not. I thought he was better. Honestly, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw Hezzy out there. Okay. 
I'm going to throw Hezzy out there because as much as I can say, I don't like that Hezzy doesn't play defense. But, like, when he really turns up offensively, it's nuts. Yeah, it's nothing you can do. Yeah, it's nuts. It's and, and, he, and he's, like, low-key a really, really, really good finisher. I don't I don't think people understand how good of a finisher he is. Bro, like, and top have you seen this? If, if you guys are watching this, I mean, when you see Hezzy got, look at his calves. Oh, they, he, he, I tell him all the time, he got bad bitch calves. Yeah. <laughs> I got horse time, legs, bro. bro. His calves are huge, bro. So, so when you see him going through contact and finishing and the little slow steps but yeah. still getting up, I'm like, oh, yeah. Up and unders. Yeah. Like, and it's weird because he's not athletic, right. but he'll jump like he's athletic, right. up and under. Come it, on, he, Hezzy got game, Yeah, man. Hezzy's got a lot of games, so I, I would put him up there just out of respect. I, honestly, he's a... I didn't go in an order, yeah, yeah, but he's yeah. like he's not five in my opinion. Um, and yeah, and, and shout out to bucket. him, one hundred percent. Shout out to him for what he did in yeah. the big three. Crazy, he went crazy. Yeah, man, this because year. I was hearing what he did the year before when he tried out, but he, he killed. But they didn't give him a spot, you know. And, so. and I try to tell people this all the time, man. Is is basketball is situational. Mm-hmm. He went to a team that was. The two-time champs. Mm-hmm. He went to a team that was missing their best player. Mm-hmm. He went to a team that didn't have a coach for three games. So he got to be himself. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, bro, in basketball, that's all you want to be able to do is be yourself. One hundred percent. How many people do you think would go crazy if we just let if they if the, the league let them off? And the they're leash? all of them. Think about Andrew Wiggins, though. We always thought a lot of people have started thinking of him as a bust for a long time. Yeah, you know, he, but he was lucky, crazy. averaging like 16, 17, We're at twenty. He goes to Golden State. He's a champion, and yeah. everybody's thinking like, "Oh, he's the second best player over on on the team." Yeah, it's a, it's situational, right? You know, some people go where there's a guy that just likes to have the basketball, he dribbles, dribbles. Yeah. But you're that same guy, 100%. you know. So you're not a catch and shoot guy, so it's nope. not gonna work, nope. you know. So anyway, we can go all day about that, yeah. but so, no, that's my top five. That's my that top, five. top five. Yeah. Right. The in the lab versus West Coast game. What the hell happened? Uh, why didn't it happen? So so this is funny. So <laughs> this is. Mainly because Matt and I and our, you know, yes, Matt, it is, and yeah. I know it, but go ahead. This is this is just a pride <laughs> thing with Matt and I, just like so, uh, accountability, yeah. man. Yeah. I like that. And then on top of that, like <laughs> I was going through my a hole phase, so I'm like, maybe you should go beat them, you know? Maybe you should go do this, and then we'll play, you know? Oh and and real and realistically, it's just like. We should have just made it happen. You know, it's just basketball at the end of the you, day. You but me, I'm just like a content guy. You assholes took some money out of our pockets. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, we did. We did. Because y'all was measuring. You know what? Go ahead. Continue. Man. The the it, it's a lot of different things that we could talk about. Um, but it should it should still happen, in my opinion. Uh, it can't happen for a while because like dudes are starting to leave, which I was sucks. about to say, yeah, no, it's, yeah, there's, there's, there's yeah. no more, but, there's no more. But there, here's what here's what happened. Here's what happened. So <laughs> I I'm a build up guy because I watch a lot of bo- I love boxing, Same. and Matt does too. Same. He Same. loves boxing. If you yeah. look at his Twitter, he's mainly talking about boxing and yeah. politics. Right. And so well, <laughs> you know Matt, and so no, nah, you do. I've been to his office to play fight night with him. Right. So, so Mayweather and Pac, you know Mayweather, Pacquiao, Mayweather, uh, De La Hoya, they had like a show called Twenty Four Seven. I loved the build up that they had. So when Friggin and I um, played, I took the same model and just built it up until we played. Uh, he's coming up YouTube and all this stuff, which is great. He got in the comments and was saying st- talking crazy, right? You know, saying there would be no competition. We were making, we were having like five digit checks every month, like high five digit checks because of the buildup. Yeah. And then when we played, we made $100,000. And I had to think about this. We made $100,000 to play a one on one pay per view, and right. people paid. Right. And I'm not in the NBA. Yeah. So, like, the fact that you can do this, it's just like, oh, okay. So we are. This is uncharted territory. Oh, yeah. okay. This is what happens when you work really hard yeah. and you actually like take stuff seriously and you co- uh, collab. This is the right way to collab. Because at yeah. first it would turn into like at first it was like me and Frigga was just having like this back and forth and it was kind of like toxic and I didn't like that and we both wouldn't even like that type yeah. of person. So we reached out, started talking to each other. Not even to sit too too much on that. To take it to Matt thing, I was like, all right, we're just gonna build this up. But I think both of our prize got in the way, and uh, <laughs> and things just didn't end up happening. And, and you know, it all a lot of times it comes down to money, and 
it do. You know, it got to make sense. Yeah, it ha- it and, and it does. And I and now I understand where Matt was coming from. Yeah. And it's just we're so far from that now. Yeah, yeah, but, but, you know, at the end of the day, I just talk a lot of trash. And, and it's <laughs> fun to me. You're a troll, it's bro. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun to me. And it's just like, but if you meet me and we talk, it's like, cool. Like, I ain't got I got time to be doing that in person, and no, actually I do. No, let's be do. real. You do. But 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 at the end of the day, man, like, I understand we're all humans, and people got to make money, people got to you know raise families, and yeah. you know, anyways. I mean, it's all good. Um, all right, Dan. Since we're talking about that, talk about uh, when the B team beat the West Coast team. Okay, so that was that was a that was a whole little situation. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because you guys are being thrown in the fire, like all yeah. like the B team, yeah. the West Coast team, because it's just mad. <laughs> it's just mad or not. That's all it really was. So that day you guys came up and here, you guys were already going. You guys were already playing before we got there. Yeah, it was. It was. We yeah, y'all had some games. Yeah, was, y'all was playing. I think when they played, that was the was that, that was the last game, wasn't it? When we played the B team. Well, that was the second game. But what I had done is we had some. Special guest. Oh, I don't know. And for oh me, and for God. me, thinking about it afterwards, I didn't like how things went. And the reason why, because the guy, some of the guys on the B team give off that, when you first meet them, yeah. they give off some of that weird energy that I don't like playing against. Uh, yeah. So I'm like, when I thought about that, it was like a week later, and I'm doing all the reaction video. I'm like, yeah. Mm, I didn't like that. Because here's my thing. I don't play in a lot of these type of things in these situations, and I don't put people like P and Don. I don't put them in certain situations. I love if P I and know Don. if I know that they can get hurt yeah. playing against the wrong type of people because, yeah. the, and you you you're the ultimate testament to this because every time you step out, there's gonna be somebody that's just trying to prove a point. Yeah, and I'm thinking about it and I'm seeing how you're winning, and I'm seeing a lot of different things, and you're trying to make your way from basketball and the modeling and yep. all this other stuff. Yep. I'm like, I don't like how I, how I did that. I, I, I don't like it. Because cause right. if you would have got hurt, I wouldn't have liked that. Uh, you know, it was a yeah. bunch of guys trying to prove themselves and, and you just were trying to just be out there playing basketball. That's and so it. like, you know, I, I'm I'm always able to take accountability for stuff 100%. like that. So, But 100%. well, hopefully one day we can make it happen because I know it'll be a good game. Just no, just the be. style that we play when the style that you guys play, I know it'll be a good match. Yeah, same thing when it comes to playing. Uh, anytime on the court, I just know what to expect now. Um, I've even I, I've even had talks with Ark about how I want to approach games going forward just so that I don't get into the bickering matches and the egocentric stuff because at the end of the day, man, I'm out there to just have fun and compete and make people better. That's how I grew up playing basketball, so... Um, I'm trying to keep it that way, and like you were saying, man, I got like I got a band aid on my face right now. Shout out to uh, Target, man, with the <laughs> black people band aids. If y'all can't see it on there, I got one on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, they messed up my face and my money makers. So it's so much other stuff I'm doing where basketball ain't, you know. My, it's uh, a great yeah. spot to be yeah. in, though, like where that that you're in. And honestly, I don't even like to talk about myself, but like the the spot that I'm in too, because yeah. whenever I play, uh, whenever I walk around. People are like, I lock you up. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm just shopping for food. What are you talking about? I don't even know you. But I but I, I like I like that because it's just like, look at what I created. Yeah. And then on top of that, I hate to say this because I like to focus more on the positivity and the negativity. Same. But when you're getting all these comments that have all this like negativity, it's like I'm doing something right. 100%. You know, because I didn't necessarily go to 5 on 5 route. I took the ones, and, you know, I beat up on a lot of people, and I'm lost in games, too. Come on, bro. Like, what are we talking about? You're going to lose. It can be anybody's day. You're going to lose. Yeah, that's just the way it works, especially if you're going one game. I don't even play one, so shout out to you, but ones is just too hard on my butt. Well, I'm I'm chilling off it now, (laughs) (laughs) you know, as as much, because it's just, (laughs) if I don't know you, I probably won't even play. Cause I, cause I know, you know, if I go for a layup and you take me out, yeah. I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna have something to say, yeah. like you know. So, and I don't like being in that space no same, more. Same. I want to protect all the people that I'm around, you know. Man, that's so. crazy you said that, cause I got taken out three times in that West Coast versus East Coast game, but you know, everybody thought I shouldn't have did nothing. Oof. But you know, we ain't gonna go there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and breeze <laughs> past that. We're gonna save that for a reaction video. Um, last question. Um, reacting to your mixtape, um, if. Me and you was to play each other one v one in our primes. What that would look like? Who gonna win? Okay, so like this is gonna sound weird. 
Anytime somebody starts, it is. Like it just that. is. No, so talk, like, talk your shit. No, we would no. have to. We'd have to play multiple games. Yeah, one hundred percent. I've never played. If I'm playing one, right. it's always best of five. Because at, at my age, for sure, you're talking about your knees. Like, I need a warm up. <laughs> I, I can't just go right into the game. If we're just playing one game up to fifteen, I might be cooked. <laughs> and, and the thing about it is, is like I know what happens when you hit a few shots. Yeah, you start feeling good and one away. Like we just told anything can happen. Anything, man. I always like to give the height advantage, uh, especially if you're quicker, like yeah. yourself. I give the advantage to the taller person. Now, me being a competitor, like if I'm stepping away from the analyst part, me being a competitor, it all depends if I'm hitting shots, because like. I've been beating up on a lot of people, and it's because of my threes. I was about to say, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to to push up like that yeah, on people I, like us. If I ain't loose, yeah, if I ain't loose, I ain't finishing at the at the rim or nothing. So you know, I'm just being honest <laughs> so with I you, bro. So, yeah, it's just like you know, I don't got a good sweat. <laughs> so, but I think that you know that's one of those things. That it's just nice to. Uh, it's the what if. I don't know if anybody, nah, you guys facts, keep up with Marvel. Facts. It's the what Everybody if. do that. Sometimes the what ifs are dull. Like, what if yeah. Kobe or Jordan was in a prime or yeah. whoever else, Magic Garden stuff? Like, it's, uh, these are fun conversations. They are. You they know, are. I, I love having I love having top five talk. I love having the, when we, we go back and forth. I love yeah. those. 100%. This barbershop talk. And if you don't understand that, you don't understand the culture. Nope, at you all. don't, and there's no way that you ever will if you if you can't get that. So, one hundred percent. Anyways, maybe we'll find out one day, maybe not. Uh, know, but right? either way, I, I think it was great that 